Pisces, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again and tuning in. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there, tons of stuff. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. All kind of links and everything you need to know. So thank you so much. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for your support. It is truly, truly appreciated. Could not do it without you guys, and I truly love to do this for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, for Pisces. Hope everybody's doing well. August already. Can you believe it? August already. Where is time going? I don't know. So Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? General reading. First half of August. This is a zodiac oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet energy that may be affecting you in some way, shape, or form for the first half of August. Whatever comes out here, if it doesn't resonate for you, that is totally fine. This is sort of just a little extra bonus. And the rest of the reading may um, resonate for you in some way. So please keep that in mind. And you would know by the title also. So Pisces, first half of August. We have one card for Pisces for the first half of August. Well, I guess we'll take that one. Um, I did have Libra fly out too. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a Libra in the tarot for the major arcana is justice. So you may be dealing with something in the justice system or getting receiving justice in some way or some kind of energy balancing out in some way, if that means anything for anybody. But we have Uranus energy coming out. And Uranus energy is Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. So uh, if you have an Aquarius around you in some way, or maybe you have Aquarius in your chart, uh, could be your moon sign. But Uranus is all about human needs. It's about uh, changes. So, you no know, basic human needs. So, I don't know. We'll see how that affects your um, reading for the first half of August. All right. You no know, human needs. What is every human need um you know they desire friendship love loyalty i mean all the all the human needs you can think of is uh affected by the uranus planet all right so let's see with this deck here we will get your main message what's going on with you all the decks are listed below if you are interested in that also they all have been pre-shuffled cut meditated on off camera there is a little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. So one card for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? I think that's your card. First half of August. Wow, and you have the moon here, which is Cancer Pisces energy. So we have Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So this is telling you you're in that energy of wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting a new start, starting out fresh jumping right in and going for it and not to worry the universe has your back the universe has a divine plan for you and not to worry you will be fine you go first and they will catch you and guide you on your divine path here and maybe you know that with the moon energy here is very um moon energy is very um intuitive energy and with Uranus, it's all about changes. So maybe you're going through a change, a big change in your life right now. And you're taking this big, huge leap of faith into something new. A whole new life, perhaps. And maybe you're a little scared and nervous, but, you know, this is telling you, you will be fine. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. So... Um, share your voice so if you've been kind of like in hermit mode here it's I think it's telling you to uh, you know get out you know take that leap of faith get out into the world um, you know go out have some fun go uh, 
spend time with friends and family go out and live life and you know express yourself maybe talking to people you know friends family getting advice uh, things like that all right so let's see and maybe you're afraid if you're going through this big big change right now that you're afraid to talk about it because maybe you feel like people will persecute you for whatever change is going on in your life right now but I think this is just telling you it's okay to get out there express how you feel express what you're going through go out and live life spend spend time with friends and family tell them what's going on get some advice you know um, you know get some weight off your shoulders if you're keeping it all inside all right so let's see what's going on with the Pisces the first half of August all right first half of August first half of August what's going on with Pisces what is this leap of faith what is this share your voice what is going on with Pisces first half of August please spirit thank you so much oh, there we go and that one wants to stick too okay so we have well the knight of wands came out in reverse and the three of swords here so we have fire and air energy he has the air Gemini Libra Aquarius with the swords but it doesn't have to be that energy. So I definitely feel like here, and I had said with this card that maybe you're kind of in hermit mode and you're not really going out doing anything. And here's the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands upright, they go after what they want. They take that action and movement moving forward with passion, drive, and ambition. And they go after what they want with a lot of success and victory. But I feel like here in reverse, you know, not taking any action, not going out not feeling any passion or vigor for life kind of like just being in hermit mode and afraid to get out there and uh, start living your life again maybe you know whatever change you're going through here you're, you're just really scared to talk about it you're scared to um, express yourself but you're yearning to take this leap of faith but you're scared to get out into the world there and it's telling you you go first and they got your back so you can take this movement action forward feeling like you're stuck because over some kind of heartbreak so whatever you've been through there's been a lot of pain and um, heartache here whatever you've been through that you're coming you know I feel like you're going through a big change because Uranus is all about change and coming out of heartbreak and sorrow whatever it was for you but yet not taking a whole new leap of faith into life again because you're feeling scared of maybe having some fear of getting out back out into the world because of your situation so let's see what your situation is what other well let's see what other energy is around you so we have death and two of pentacles exactly so scorpio energy here earth energy with the two of pentacles so exactly i have felt here with the the death and the three of swords i mean you could be going through divorce um because we did have the libra card show here which is the um major arcana of justice so you could be going through a very painful divorce here or something in the justice system the ending of a situation here it's been hurtful and painful to go through here but out of this, you can transform and have a resurrection, a rebirth, and a whole new life. Because something ends, but there's always a whole new brand new beginning. But you need to take that leap and get back out into the world and not be in hermit mode. And the Two of Pentacles here is, you know, juggling a lot around. Maybe you're juggling around uh, all these fears, anxieties in your head. You know, what are people going to think? You know, what, uh, what are people going to say? How are they going to react? You know, I think juggling around all this crap in your mind that you really don't need to worry about. Or you could have, you know, a lot of things going on for you right now and you're trying to balance out all that energy. All right, so let's see. Let's see what your actual situation is now. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Sun. Wow. 
we have the Knight of Swords. Wow. <laughs> so you have this brand new passionate beginning here waiting for you, a whole new exciting adventure in the world just waiting for you, waiting for you to grasp a hold of it and and go with it. You know, there's a lot of excitement, drive, ambition, passion, a whole new world waiting for you. And here's the sun energy, Leo energy, fire energy, both these cards. So, I mean, you have success, happiness, victory here with the sun, a whole new world, enlightenment, growth, expansion, happy home and family, even if it's on your own with this brand new beginning. That energy is all there for you, but you have the Knight of Swords energy, air energy here. So this is the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I mean, all the energy is here for you. I mean, this is like rushing in, taking action. You know, you may be in the process of cutting away things no longer serving you, as if you're going through a divorce or whatever it is for you. Standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. Um, speaking with truth and clarity and uh, don't get in the energy though of um, just telling it like it is and being too blunt too blunt that's not a good energy to be in but you know this is fast action movement forward and just like blah rushing in and just like telling people off and causing trouble don't try not to get in that energy um, but maybe you are in that energy now, but you know, you can be happy again and have this brand new beginning in life. And I think there's a need here for you just to rush back into life again. Come out of hermit mode because you have all this waiting for you in the world. Wow. All right, Pisces. So let's see what your, your advice is. The Eight of Wands and the Hangman. So, <laughs> okay, here's your energy with the Hangman. Cancer, Pisces, energy, and now we have Fire energy with the Eight of Wands. So, your advice is, though, to take it slow. Um, you may all of a sudden feel that urge just to hurry up, rush, get out there, get out into the world, you know, talking to every single pers person you come into contact with. Um, this is a lot of action and movement and travel and uh, communication but it's saying you know if you get all of a sudden get into that energy of rushing ahead too fast as with the knight of swords energy here the hanging man is telling you to take slow down take a little break you know take it a little, little bit of a slower approach uh think before you act before you move forward and just because um, you've got a slow energy with the hangman, he doesn't even move. He's totally still. And then you have this very fast-paced action here. So this is, again, with the two pentacles of trying to juggle and balance, of balancing out your energy. Just slow it down. Tone it down. Take it easy. Take your time. You know, you may be rushing to leap right in. Maybe finally deciding to come out of hermit mode. But just think about it and just, like, slow down a little bit. <laughs> and don't rush so fast all right so let's see what your outcome will be here so we have the six of pentacles earth energy again so this is nice so this is balancing out your energy equal give and take so i think you will balance out your energies moving forward taking this whole new leap of faith into life if you're just coming out of a divorce or something like that maybe going out on your own um you know, you may be in a hurry to, you know, you may, might have been in hermit mode for a while, worried about what other people think, say, do whatever here, and then all of a sudden you have a big epiphany moment, like with the sun energy, that enlightenment of, I just want to get out there into the world, I'm ready for my new life, and just want to rush right in really fast and grab every opportunity that you see. Your advice is to just slow it down and really think about things before moving forward and really balance out your energy. You will be balanced. Your outcome is being balanced. Healed, healing energy, balancing energy, equal give and take energy. So as, as long as you can balance out your energy, you'll be fine and you will be balanced here into this leap of faith. So let's get more clarity. The magician, so exactly. So this is um, Gemini Libra and we did see Libra here that wanted to fly out also when you've, when um, 
Uranus fell out with uh, Libra here. And this is, you know, manifesting a whole brand new beginning, you know, leaping right in because that reminds me of the Fool card. And then right after the Fool comes the Magician. So manifesting your whole new beginning, your whole new world, your whole new life here, you know, using your truth and clarity, using your passion and drive and ambition, using your love and compassion and using your stability and just manifesting forward to a whole new world, a whole new life, two of wands. So, you know, fire energy here, making decisions, making plans uh, for your future, what direction you're going in, what you're going to do now. So making all those plans and decisions and moving forward in a whole new direction. Five of swords. So, yeah, this is an energy of kind of like defeat, at all costs, you don't care how you get ahead, you don't care what you do, be careful not to get in that energy as with the Knight of Swords, of just um, getting ahead at all costs, um, you don't really want to get into that energy, so be mindful of that energy, of being getting all, you know, too caught up into yourself and moving forward and not realizing you may be hurting others or what have you. Four of Wands, so here's your stability. So here's your happy home life. Um, this usually is about two people in a marriage or commitment, ceremony, celebrations, but I just feel like if you're going to be alone or even if you're going all, you know, jumping right into a new relationship, here's the stability, here is um, the happy home and family life, people coming together, being happy and stable and celebrating. Or you could just be celebrating with family, you know, having, buying, getting a new home or a new place and moving and celebrating with your friends and family on your new life. Star, so here's Aquarius energy as with Uranus. So here's your healing energy. Here's your wishes and your dreams coming true, having that faith, hope, and optimism for your future as you dive right in and take a leap of faith here. In uh, again balancing out your energies and being divinely guided as the divine universe is saying here don't worry I have your back as you leap into your new life everything will be fine all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the page of one so this is uh, you may have offers coming into you maybe new endeavors new you know, friends saying, hey, let's go do this, let's go do that. Maybe going on new adventures, um, feeling very excited and uh, having that zest for life again. And maybe, you know, going out with friends and going on those new adventures and endeavors and things like that and being very excited and happy and feel like you're growing and expanding in the process. And then we have judgment. So, you know, this could be you know, forgiving things of the past, whatever you've been through here, you know, making a final decision, a final judgment call. Um, sometimes can mean resurrection of the past or just forgiving all those um, things of the past that maybe you once had judged, had a lot of judgment on. Uh, just forgiving all that and uh, moving on. Forgiveness here. And then we have the Six of Swords. Again, I feel very, you know, air energy, leaving all the past baggage behind here. You've learned your lessons. You've had some struggles. You've gone through what you've gone through. You know what you can move forward with and what you can leave behind. So you're leaving behind what's no longer serving you. And you're moving in a more peaceful, balanced, healing direction. We have the Star, the Six of Pentacles, moving forward in a whole new direction strength so this can be Leo but now having that inner strength and confidence to get out there into the world uh, being very bold and courageous and brave and having all your willpower strength and desires to go and manifest what you want hermit again I had said that at the beginning with the Virgo energy with share your voices with being in a cave being in a hermit mode for a while till you finally seen the light found your path, found your way, and realized I just need to jump into life here and take that leap on my own. Four of Pentacles energy. So, you know, this is holding on to your stability, holding on to what you have. If you 
going through a divorce or something like that, you know, getting what is yours, holding on to your stability, um, and that kind of thing. So, you know, being very stable here and grounded. There's the Wheel of Fortune, so Sagittarius energy, so things turning in your favor, fate, destiny on your side, better luck and timing. So yeah, the divine is saying things will work out in your favor, the wheel will turn in your favor, things will be fine, things will work out, don't worry, divine timing is here for you, and the universe has your back. And there we have the Fool energy with the leap, starting over at zero, resetting, taking that leap of faith jumping right in and not worrying wow yep so jumping right in after you've been through a hermit energy of being scared afraid fear um, and then all that kind of thing what others say think or do uh, fear of getting back out there into the world on your own I feel like you, you heal from that you overcome that fear and now you're very excited and ambitious to just jump right in but you need to balance out your own energy and really think things through and not rush into anything too fast moving forward and you'll be fine all right so let's see let's see Pisces for the first half of August let's get some extra advice guidance for you for the first half of August for Pisces spirit please thank you so much what do you have for Pisces, the first half of August? Pisces, first half of August. Pisces, first half of August. Advice, guidance, what does Pisces need to know? Spirit, please, thank you so much for Pisces. Oh, that's too many, too many, too many. There we go. All right, so we have Dove. So exactly, and this is um, air energy, but again, I feel like finding your peace, your balance, getting out there, uh, being very harmonious, and uh, just being in a very peaceful, harmonious place moving forward. Finally, finally finding your inner peace and sanctuary as you leap out into the world and a whole new beginning here. Wow. So let me see there's anything with the dove here there's any I think that's 26 any messages oh here it is peace and serenity higher wisdom and love exactly cod represents humanity's highest hopes for love peace and union with the divine exactly the universe will catch you has your back and I have been saying this, this whole reading wow <laughs> in many cultures the white dove was considered sacred to love goddess love goddesses Aphrodite in Greece Venus in Rome and Ishtar in Mesopotamia, I guess you say. Remnants of these traditions survive today. White doves still represents romantic love and are often released after weddings. However, Christians revere the dove as a symbol of the divine, being believing it represents the Holy Spirit. One famous dove story comes from the book of Genesis. God was angered by people's wrongdoing and caused rains to flood the earth. To signify that dry land had been found, a dove returned to Noah's, to Noah's ark holding an olive branch. This image is now understood as a symbol of peace. Yep, so you will find your balance, your peace, your harmony, your inner sanctuary, and you will be fine. The universe, the divine, has your back as you leap out into the world. Wow. Earth here. So, yep, you will be earth energy, being very grounded, stable kind of energy. Yep, growth, expansion, stability. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. So we have horse, fire energy. So again, I feel like with that, um, having all that energy, passion, desire to just jump out into the world and move forward very fast and fiercely here. But again, needing to remain grounded, remain grounded, balanced, moving forward. Yeah, you may feel very fiery, passionate, and just like blaze forward but really really balance your energy out and stay grounded and stay in that peaceful harmonious balanced state and you'll be fine universe has your back all right Pisces um, I hope this resonated for you and if it did please do like share comment I love to read the comments subscribe 
and hit the bell and you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. So I'm wishing you good luck here in your situation. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.